It strikes. The venom is infused with a complex torrent of paralyzing toxins. This venom attacks the body's muscles and heart and lung function. And when the muscles stop, asphyxiation sets in. We completely destroy a power board on a leader one point. Nice. Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and today we're here to take a look at the Diatone Mamba stack. So this is a flight controller ESE stack in 20 by 20 that I got recently and there's one main reason why we're looking at that. Taking a look online here, guys, this is one of the main reasons why we're looking at this Mamba 405 20x20 stack is because of the price. Look at the price, $33.99, currently at 11% off, but it's only going to go up to 38 once this little deal goes down. But when I found it, I thought, what a great deal for an F4 stack, especially from a brand like Diatone, which is a brand that I've been able in the past at least count on. And it flies really, really well, which we will show you on some hover footage down the road and in a video later I'll be doing in full. Now the 30 and a half by 30 and a half stack, that's coming in at only $44, which is still a great deal on a stack, you know, and uh, you're not really getting a lot of opportunities to get your hands on stacks at that price right now. So uh, I was really excited to find a quality brand, you know, for sale at this kind of price. And it's still relevant to them right now because they're still putting it in some of their pre-order copters here so even um let's you know let's pop this guy open real quick so you know even this tyrant is still going to have the mamba stack in it so so the, it's not like an old decrepit part that they're just selling out of the warehouse it's still current and it's still available as always, if you're interested in any of these stacks, I'll have the links below in the comments and in the description that you can click. Alright gang, back at the desk, let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what actually comes in it. First we're going to go ahead and take a look at the components actually on the stack, and then we'll take a look and see what else comes along in the package. Now the only issue I found with this particular stack is that every pad that is possible is on this stack, so you need to have sharp soldering skills to get on those little pads. So the first thing we have is the flight controller, and that's the STM32 F405. It also has the 6-axis MPU 6000. It also has an OSD. It's 5 volt, uh, 1 amp on the BEC. It takes a 2 to 4 S LiPo. Its real size is 30 by 30 by 5, and it is in 20 millimeter mounting, and it has tons of extra UARTs and such. Now let's talk about the 4-in-1 ESE. It is a 25 amp ESE, burstable to 30, awesome. It also handles 2 to 4S. It is a 30 by 30 by 5 actual size with 20 millimeter mounting, and it weighs 8 grams. And it also has a no BEC on it, however the power is being transferred up to the BEC on the flight controller, so we're okay there. Now we can go ahead and take a quick look at the rest of the items inside the box. It was a really nicely packaged. You have this little pop-out card here. Uh, While well, that was the outside edge, I'm sorry. We have this little pop-out card here, and it is actually, you know, typical diatone, extremely well done. Uh, it gives you a little map of mapping out all the uh, pads on all the different devices you can put on it. And that first card I pulled out actually contains an even more detailed drawing of what all the pads are for on that board because as you can see there are a ton. And as I mentioned earlier you need to have uh, some decent skills at soldering on those little pads which is kind of hilarious coming from me because all of you know that I, I solder like absolute garbage but I managed to actually solder everything on here no problem. So the next thing up for bids in the box is we do get our red and black wire and we get our XT30 and we get an extra little cable set up there which I think is just an extra because I did not find any other purpose for it. And there is a capacitor in there if you care to use it. I did not and still had no problems at all. Now I know making a big deal out of packaging doesn't really make sense but if you've built very many of these and realize how many times you get no information hap happily thrown in you can really appreciate the effort that Diatone puts into this. So the other reason I got this board was to build uh, the Beta FPV Beta 140 
40. I know when you think beta FPV, you think whoop, but they also make this carbon fiber frame I'm building. So that video will be coming out soon with a lot of components that you'll see videos of maybe before. It just depends, but I'm putting a lot of components into this particular build, and I thought this would be a great one to put inside of it. So let's do a little hover test and sample that video. Okay, guys, so we're all done building uh, the Beta 140. Here she is, all done. So what I'm going to do is just a little bit of hover, uh, make sure everything's responding the way it's supposed to, which is what I usually do after something I build. Let's take a look at how it hovers and uh, see what you think about that before we get into actual flight footage, all right? Let's set you up here. All right, here we go. Is pretty nice. You can tell those uh, props are pretty loud. Well, you can see it in that backdrop. There she is. So really stable controller for sure. Little punch. Yeah, it's nice. No problems. It's pretty good, so we'll just uh, fly it with some SPV and see what it looks like. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways, on YouTube look over here don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin and if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel check that out right here and thanks for coming don't forget to subscribe and happy flying